Hey guys, it's Wes, Not Your Normal Miner here. Uh, we are going to be doing a review for you today. We're going to be reviewing an application, uh, Multiminer. If you want to check this out, please go over to multiminer.us. Um, you're going to see what I'm seeing right here. So what is Multiminer? Uh, Multiminer is an application that's going to let you use um, different applications, miners, um, so to say, different miners um, to mine different cryptocurrencies. Um, they've got a pretty easy way set up for you to find different um, cryptocurrency wallets and such. Um, but let's go ahead and just give you a quick rundown here. Over on multiminer.us, you know, you do want to scroll down, take a look at things for yourself. They do have different ways for you to monitor multiple mining rigs. Um, I do want to say this is only for Windows setup right now from what I can see. So I only have one Windows rig right now, so I am not able to review the multi-miner stats for multiple rigs. Um, but we'll be able to run you through the application and those types of things. Um, we've been running it here uh, for over a week now. A couple things they say that they can offer you is the multi-miner application. Please read through down through there. It discusses with you the, the fees for this application. They do have different coin partnerships, which I thought this was interesting. <clears throat> One of the coins that I saw was Ether1 that really drew me to the project. I wanted to see how easy it is to start mining Ether1 with this um, compared to, let's say, SMOS, um, which I've used on my other mining rigs. They do have their own pool management as well. If you scroll down, you'll see a couple different people um, give some reviews. There will be some other reviews and some other things here. But let's go ahead and, and show you a couple other things here before we get started with this. Multi-miner, um, they have different miner pools that you can check out, different reviews. Um, supported coins you know this is something that's pretty neat come down here and they do have a few endorsed coins one of one coin that I'm a, a fan of been following ether one so like I said that's the main reason I wanted to test this we do have some other coins here that you can come down and see that you can mine with this uh, looks to be pretty kryptonite uh, v7 heavy uh, AMD heavy coins um, nothing wrong with that I only have um, an Nvidia 1070 Ti in this mining rig so that's all I'll be able to test here today as well um, they do have a place for support as well if you want to do a custom miner for maybe a different algorithm they don't have or a different miner program hit them up there um, they do have several mining pools as well for different projects that they endorse and such but if you're gonna try multi miner you gotta go over to multiminer.us click downloads what, uh, what is Multiminer explains it to you a little bit more here um, about it. Um, there's a video that discuss, uh, discusses you a little bit on, on what to do as well. Um, there are some different user agreements, terms of use that you want to check out. Um, I always tell you, do your own research. Um, please do your own research. Um, but when you're ready to download Multiminer, you click download it, get it installed on your computer. Um, I will say this, it did take up a lot of uh, memory on my computer, but it is running the capability of running multiple minor programs which is is, is nice um, if any of you guys have worked with minor programs you gotta download the minor program set up the config file um, do a bunch of other stuff well this does take a lot of that out of the mix so get multi minor downloaded um, as always when you're setting up these miners um, when they start running they're gonna hit your firewall they're always gonna ping your firewall it did take me a little bit of time getting all of those things sorted out please once again do your research and know what you're installing and what you're letting through but once you get multi-miner installed you'll open it up and this is what you're gonna see up here at the top it's kinda cool it does have a coin ticker um, it's always nice to see what those coins especially the ones that you're following are, are keeping up with well if you click the home button here that is gonna open up your web browser and take you to multi-miner home um, here under endorsements it shows you a couple different um, coins that they endorse when you click on those that's going to take you as well um, to some different places there pools it shows you the different multi-miner pools that they have updates updates are pretty easy it also shows you where you can get updates for a lot of different wallets um, the wallets are going to be um, for majority of coins that that they are following um, here and able to use with multi-miner so if we wanted to use multi-miner what we're going to do is we'll come here um, if, let's say that you've just opened this up and you wanted to mine Catalyst well you click on Catalyst boom opens up a new screen this does allow you to be able to use their miner um, program or, or pre kind of um, config file there you can also do your custom pools and ports 
one thing I like is if you don't have the wallet and you don't know where to get the wallet for whatever project you're going to mine through Multiminer, um, they've got a place for you to get the wallet there. Download wallet. Once again, always do your research. Make sure you're, you know what you're downloading, but it's nice and easy there. Um, one coin um, that I've already got set up to start mining is um, Ravencoin here. So uh, if I wanted to mine Ravencoin, I would come down, and if I hadn't, clicked on it let's just say real quick let's go up to tube BitTube is a coin that I, I know a little bit about I do keep some content over on tube well once again kryptonite heavy let you set your config files your ports your wallet address and then basically you boom you hit uh, begin mining well since I already have Ravencoin set up here since Ravencoin is a coin I follow we come here and we click this and all of a sudden boom starts mining now the base, uh, the the miner that they use for Ravencoin is CC Miner. One of the things that I would like to see here is the capability to be able to change different miner programs for different um, projects or different coins that you're going to mine. But for simplicity, and multi miner is setting this up to make it as easy as possible for someone new coming in. I mean, just like that, I'm able to start mining, and we're mining Ravencoin. One of the things that you do have to keep in mind is you're going to have to change your overclock settings through um, you know whatever program or application that you use for that. I use MSI Afterburner, so um, if I wanted to change the Ravencoin settings there for that, my overclock settings, I would open up Afterburner and go ahead and adjust those. Well, let's say I wanted to mine another coin. You know, Ether One's a coin I follow. Well, I've already got that configured in here, so I click Ether One, and boom, just like that. Claymore opens up, and we are mining Ether One or Etho. So that was the one one main thing that I would, did want to test here versus setting up a rig with SMOS. Uh, you know, if you've got a Windows computer with a GPU in it, you can download Multiminer and be mining within seconds. Um, if I had to set up Claymore, let's say with this, I know it would take me a little longer. Um, I'm not even very familiar with how to set up the exact config file. But I know there's YouTube videos and such, but this does make it nice and easy. As you can see, we're already starting to work on trying to find some shares there. Um, I did set mine up through custom coin files. Um, I went over here to coin config files. And I came down to Ether1. And I did go in here and adjust some things so I could set up my own mining, uh, not my own mining pool, but set it to run on a, a pool I chose with my wall address. Um, I click save, and just like that, I was able to adjust certain miners as well to different pools. Makes it super easy. But as far as multi miner, is it nice and easy to use? Um, if I was somebody that that hadn't hadn't set up any miner programs before, yes, I will say multi miner is very easy to use. Um, super easy there compared to SMOS, especially you got to use your thumb drives and, and, and just a million different things there but within just a few seconds I am mining and we have found shares of Etho, uh, Ether1 or Etho. So if you needed to change different things let's say you were mining um, XMR stack or um, a kryptonite heavy coin well the nice thing is here you can do adjustments when you have those up and running so that's pretty neat. Um, these graphs down here that they have in the Multiminer app are only for kryptonite heavy based coins so uh, when you open this up and you get them running don't think things are, are, aren't working properly if you were mining a kryptonite heavy coin this is where you would see your certain stats and all of those things um, so that once again this is Wes I'm not your normal miner we've been giving you a review of Multiminer um, all transparency I was not paid for this review um, once again, I was not paid for this review, but as far as the review goes, doing a review on Multiminer, it is very easy to set up. It is very easy to um, go to their website and check out a lot of different things. You can download the application here. Their home talks with you more about that. Um, this is Wes, and I'm not your normal miner.